Well, hey team, welcome back to the channel and welcome to From the Depths. Oh, look at this submarine thing. Now this game, oh boy, do I have a game for you guys. So we do all sorts of things on the channel. I'll cover indie games, I'll cover AAA games, but my heart definitely has a big chunk dedicated to your engineering, hardcore construction type games, a la Stationeers, Space Engineers more recently. Fucking look at that thing. Oh my goodness. This game, put the, this this has to go on your radar. You can tell I'm a bit excited. So I just spent between an hour and two hours doing a bunch of tutorials for this game, and I made it this far, which is enough, right? Um, oh fuck it, hell, hang on. Oh, all right, and I'll tell you this straight up: they're dry. But they're comprehensive, they're, they're good. They're not necessarily dry in a in a bad, bloated manner. They're dry because they just, they have to be, right? There's not much you can do about it. But the whole building system, it's a block building system. It's very comprehensive. Anyway, look, I'll, I'll stop myself now and explain what's going on. Essentially, this seems to be a game where you build your own ships and submarines and all sorts of stuff, but we've only really focused on ships at the moment. Um, and there's a, an engine system. We're talking like engines plugged into camshafts, into pistons, into superchargers and carbies and all sorts of stuff, right? So that makes me very excited because I like engines. And um, and there's like flotation buoyancy. You need to put keels on your boats to make sure that they're floating in the water the right amount. There's AI to run your ships to make them attack other ships. You can put wireless transmitters and all that on them and put little bloody slot cards and that sort of stuff. Yes, this is very exciting. But the most important thing um, is that there is a single player that it's built around. I haven't done it yet, but essentially you've... Look at this shit. You verse other factions. AI factions, and there's like a, ha a resource harvesting component as well. So you have these like harvesting fortresses that mine uh, essentially like crude oil out of the water, and then it has to go through cokers and refiners and all that sort of stuff. And then you promulgate that through to your fleets with an overhead logistic system, which seems very robust as well. There's like guided missiles with IFF in it. There's like that. You can make these these cram cannons. Apparently, they're the big gimmick in this game. Essentially, it's a giant shotgun shell that gets constructed and fired out of a fuck you, you know, uh, Missouri cannon sort of thing, um, just filled with pallets and shit. So there's a lot going on, but the point is that while it's a robust building tool, it strikes me as there's a huge campaign to it as well. So if you're anything like me, pure sandbox is not good enough. I need something to do with it. Um, Look at this. What is this? No, I want to do a campaign. Embark on different campaigns in the world of Netta. Play the main quest for Netta campaign and take on the world or try one of the faction quests. Right. There's also custom stuff too. Play story missions. Play new campaign. If this is your first time playing, is encouraged that you play on easy. Once in game menu, press F1 for diplomacy objectives. Well, I want to play a campaign. Netta is the point. Okay, quest for Netta. The Ascension. Oh, look at this Scarlet Skies. That's cool. Um, features eight factions, one main campaign, seven. Oh my goodness. Bra wait, browse other planets? Okay, so you could probably, maybe you could go to uh, the workshop or something like that. Anyway, what's this? Oh my goodness. That's, this is a lot. I'm not here for the fucking walls of text. Thank you, game. First time players. Complete the tutorials that have been recommended to you and play on easy difficulty. Yes! Let's go. If you complete the campaign... If you complete the campaign, you may qualify for a scoreboard ranking. Oh! I mean, look, I'm never going to be the guy at the top, but I like that shit existing. You know what I mean? Create that competitive spirit. It doesn't have to be a PvP game, but I like leaderboards a lot. Um, right, so... Adjustment of the difficulty configuration settings permanently shift your campaign into custom difficulty. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's go. Now, I haven't tried the campaign or anything like this. All I've done is tutorials. Okay. Here we go. I seem to have started with a Sky Fortress thing. Okay, so you do have a little avatar, but you don't necessarily have to use him that much. All right, let me, let me double check. Tab unplugs me from him. All right. So we've started with this little little fortress. It looks like it's generating resource. Oh no, it's passing resources to that dude, right? 
It's like filling him up with materials. There's our little mining array. Okay, cool. We've probably got like storage all over the place. Got some, oh my goodness, we've got some crazy, crazy stuff here already. That's cool. All right, so if I press E, we can go into this mode. No mats. Okay, that's fine. Material. All right, so this green thing is like a material zone. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, if we go and click on him... Flagship. Starting fortress. Well, my flagship should be a, a creator. Procurement too high. 50%. I don't know what the fuck that means. Oh, keep it normal levels of material. I don't know what procurement means. Come on, game. Low mats. User. Yeah, when I had it on user, it was passing stuff to him. Okay. Okay. Okay, Jesus, look at this. Look at this world! Capture here, okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we've got... Surplus resources are transferred to cargo and user types. Your procurement levels for that resources will be maintained. Procurement too high, 50%, 30%. Keep very little material. Okay, that's promising. And then this guy is a user. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he wants 50% normal levels. Okay, cool. Cool. And, uh, and you can fleet them. Force name, fleet name. Guns are on. Put these forces in and out of play. So if you have a bazillion units, you use that button to like sort of so it doesn't tank your game essentially right okay so we can put these guys in a fleet together like that so now they're in a fleet together so there's my flagship and um okay let's not overthink that too much all right so build menu What's going on here? Oh, look, we've got some default sort of ships. I think if we speed this up as well, hang on. How do we jump out of this menu? Pull all. Force all forces out of play, right? So if we do that, and then we speed it up. Are we creating? There you go, look, he's creating materials there. Perfect. Okay, so that's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. Okay, build menu. So you can make your own custom bloody ships, view planes, helicopters, installation, attack ships, sentinel, cutlass, hammer. Oh, wow. Well, I kind of want to build my own ship from scratch. So we're going to go out of here. Uh-oh. All right, because I put them out of play, right? Yeah, so that's it's like it's a little skeleton. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's my little dude on it. All right, so if I go build mode like this, um, placement of wood block not possible. Oh no no no, we don't want that. Altars down. Okay, cool, cool. So that, that wood block is my little starting point. Oh, geez, here we go. What can I remember? All right, so if I press caps locks, it sort of locks the ship to stationary because it would wobble on the on the water. And if I press alt N, I can put a bloody center line. Uh, oh, my God, stop that. Center line mirror sort of thing on it, right? So let's start by 
If you go E from here, you got all the shit that you can place. Blocks, water blocks. Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Simple weapons. What is this, weather vane? Oh my God, I'm getting distracted, there's so much. Look at this, wheels, because apparently there's land in this game. Um, no, I just want, oh, hull prefabs. That's cool. But we're gonna. I, I need to show you how it works from the from the ground up, right? Um, resources. No, 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 no. Blocks. Oh, it's just. Oh, there. Blocks at the top. All right. So we'll just go wood. Trusty wooden blocks. It floats. There we go. And then there's all different variants. But you can actually just press E to go out and just take your default block, right? If you hold Tab, you have three uh, points of rotation, and it's giving that arrow forward as well showing us which way the ship's sort of going, I believe. But if I place this, it should mirror it. Yeah, there we go. All right, bloody doodle ship. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, um, let's place a bloody steering wheel here. That's probably a good, good thing to do. Where would we put, where would we find that? Sub objects, control. Ship's wheel. All right. Like that. And then you want to get a chair. Because you, you guy can get flogged around a bit. You start... Is that too close? Let's maybe put it like that. That probably makes more sense. Okay, cool. All right. So we're going to we're gonna start... Let's get a bloody... Um, let's get a bloody like engine going. All right, I'll go back to blocks. Go wood. All right. Alt to go down. So if you do this, if you place it that way, I think, yeah, that's cool. Okay, okay. Let's get a little bit of, well, maybe I'll uh, widen this thing out a bit, eh? Nice. Okay. So this is this is the sexy part. Let's get a fuel engine, the steam engines as well. Look at these superchargers, carbs, fucking radiators. There's fuel injectors somewhere as well. Look at this. You can, you can put down these engine prefabs that someone else sort of built for you. But we're going to start, you get a fuel generator, all right? So we'll just do, uh, I don't know, like, like that, all right? We probably don't need to put it, but what you could do is put a crankshaft along here and you can put a whole bunch of them and then you can have cylinders off of them. I'm not necessarily going to explain to you how engines work too much. I'm kind of assuming if you're into this, you're probably already across that a bit. But you can just put a cylinder off of this this engine, essentially. Um, oh, can I symmetrically just put two cylinders straight off of it? Yeah, so they're just straight into the engine. No crankshaft required or anything like that. Um, I mean, it's a video game, remember? Now, exhaust is because when the engine starts running at full speed, it gets hot. Um, so you can exhaust that out and the carburetors and the radio well radiator actually cools the entire system um, but the carburetors and there's injectors as well give you more like power and more efficiency but obviously more heat and all that oh wow you can paint everything too that's fucking cool okay adapter allows placement of cylinders away from the crankshaft oh okay um and from what I understand, that's pretty much all you need for your engine. Uses fuel to produce power. Um, what we'll need is fuel. So let's have a look at, say, resources. We could probably put, like, fuel storage. Let's put this up there or something, All right? Oh yeah, we're mirroring here. That's okay, I don't mind that. Bit of symmetry. Fuel storage is probably good. I think materials are more just for repairs. So let's do that. Like so, right? Um, again, I'm just fucking winging it, right? So I'm not gonna guarantee that this is ever gonna be any good. Um, now we need prop, right? Uh, that probably won't be in the engine section. Here you go, it'll be in the water section, surely. So everything about this is super intuitive. 
This air pump, here you go, provides buoyancy in enclosed water tight spaces by pumping out the water, right? So that's sort of, this thing is the key to zoning out hull areas. So I think maybe we should put one of them down. I'm gonna press Alt N. All right, let's just have that there. Right. Um. Oh, you can use sails. Oh, it didn't even occur to me that we could use sails. Huge propeller. Now let's just get this little baby, <gasps> a paddle. Dude, I can make little fucking Viking rowboats. That is pretty bloody cool too. All right. There you go, we got a little propeller, All right? Probably gonna need a rudder. Uh, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. So you don't have to, we'll put the rudder. Will that work? Yeah, and let's put two props on it, hey? So like, it's all sort of, I guess it's like space engineers, even though I'm not an expert of space engineers, in, um, in how it, uh, it sort of conducts electricity and all that sort of stuff and power, right? Um, so no energy storage, that's probably a good point. Um, would it be in engines? I probably wouldn't, right? Resources, it'd be resources. Give me like a battery, fuel box, electric engine. Oh no, so this is all like pre, pre-build. Oh wow, no, this is, this is helpful for, if you want to make a, a harvesting platform, you get a refinery, a catalytic cracker. Um, and like I said, the tutorials covered, covered all this shit really well, but defense, control, it's not going to be blocks, is it? AI is another thing. Yeah, I would have thought it'd be resources, but uh, electric engine is close. Oh, here you go. Battery storage. Battery. I was looking straight at it, you dickhead. Let's put it right there. All right. So, no materials. That's fine. Um, so, what we'll do is put it in the water. See what happens. <laughs> I mean, this is just a little raft, basically. But it's mine. Um, cool. Uh, the only other sort of thing that I want to... Press Q to ha adjust how this block responds, right? Um, how do I get, it? was it advanced settings, extra drives? There's a way to make it rudder advanced controls. There's a way to, you need to lash it to the, this was the one thing I sort of struggled with in the tutorial. It feels like, no, no, no. There was a button here, but it wasn't there. I had to sort of skip over it. Reset, copy, reset, strafe. Yeah, I feel like they've take they took the button out or something like that. Green is positive input. Hook up the block to respond positively green or red to the stimulus. Up, down, shit, I don't know. Reset. Rotational movement, drive factors, mostly under player control. Eh. All right. Now, the, curious, the thing I'm curious about is, do you see why you caps lock it? Because that'll make you sick. Um, sub control zero, is that what you're saying? Control zero to save? Control O. No, no, no. Oh, maybe this is it. Let's just call it that. I don't know. What I want to know is how I save this thing. You know what I mean? 
I guess I can leave build mode. Down it goes. Alright, and there's a way to spawn your little avatar to it. I just gotta remember how. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right. Oh my god, what is that? Um, let's go here, and we'll make this dude into a user. And have his mats. So that's transferring its mats there. Material. If I go pull all... Let's say, say I said like keep no material at all, will you start loading him? Listening. Oh, hang on, keep 50%. There we go. We'll put you back up to like 20% or something like that, right? Speed that up. Listening. There we go, they've given him materials now. All right, we put him back in play with uh, There we go. Um, e. All right, so he's got ammo, he's got fuel, he's got all the things that you need. Just like I said, it's the uh, uh, the propeller. Push a preset. Oh, hang on, this is, sorry, this is what I need. Push a preset. Um, Uh, drive? No, no, no. Maybe that, uh, maybe that does it. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Oh no, I'm nearly there. I'm so close. How this block, oh, you know what? Maybe I need to use the correct controls. Here we go, main drive. All right, at least we figured that much out. Above water propulsion block disabled. Okay. Um, all right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, I'm gonna go into build mode. No. No, you're on the wrong. How do I get out of here? Oh, here we go. That's promising. Caps locks. All right, here we go. Let's um, let's work on this. Blocks, wood blocks. All right, here we go, here we go. I am going to, we'll go alter in, do this, and we'll go up, I don't know. Do like, do like that. And then what we might do is, I think if you just click on the block, you delete it. Perfect. And we might go. Something like that. Might even delete the rudder actually. Right, and then we'll go 
water, propeller square, like that, water, rudder, maybe like that, oh yeah, here we bloody go now. Press Q to change propulsion modes. Pusher presets. Can I like turn that up to traditional movement? Forward. Drive factors. So I think you can hear it bloody going. Just doesn't want to go. But if I press there you go, we've got rudder control. Just don't really have a... Fuel, we've got power. Thrust, it's providing zero thrust, why? Is it because we're sitting too high in the water? Maybe. No, they're sort of submerged. And then at this point, you could probably build a keel onto it, right? Put a bloody, so you can make lead blocks. At the very least, I'm happy to have showcased this. You know what I mean? Even if my bloody attempt so far is pretty piss weak. Well, that's shifted the center a fair bit. Reset. Push a preset. Main drives at a hundred. Um, propulsion control. I mean, it should already. The game defaults to U and J anyway, right? You can see my main drives moving up and down there, but like I said, we're not getting speed, sort of thing. Materials per second. Well, I guess this isn't working. It could be as simple as that. How do I get out of my chair? Oh. Cylinders. Oh, well, this thing's not going, so that probably has something to do with it. <gasps> I think I'm missing a probably a crucial part to the engine, to be perfectly honest. Um, now that I think about it. Uh, injector. No, it's not going to be that. Supercharger, carburetor, cylinder, crankshaft. No, we've already got a fuel engine generator. Yeah, I mean, unless I need to put the fuel, like, next to it. It's the only thing I could possibly think of at the moment. There you go, the storage tank's got stuff in it. Cylinder. Hmm. Okay, so I'm missing, I'm missing something, sadly. That would have been good if I got it going, but I think for, you know, we're 90% of the way there, essentially. This is so cool. Like I said, even if I feel like a bit of a dickhead for not being able to figure it out. I don't even care. 
because I'm very happy to uh, to still sort of showcase this game. That's the whole point. Like I said, there's some pretty, oh wow, look at this, all these <laughs> cannons and that that you can put on there. Shard cannon. Like, it's insane. But if you look at the cram cannons, you construct all the barrel components from scratch all the way up to this sort of thing, you know? But it also seems that you can put in a lot of, like, subparts, maybe not that, but like engines, you know? You can put in your own sort of custom engines and that sort of thing. Like that. So it's actually, you know, you don't have to build everything from bloody scratch like I've done. Steam engines. Oh man, that excites me. There's a whole turbine component. We didn't even talk about missiles. You build like missile silos and that sort of stuff. Like, look at this shit. Look at this stuff. So good. But anyway, just while, uh, while I'm finishing up here anyhow. Like I said, these, these videos are only supposed to be a quick little 30 minute look at what the game is and what it can do. The fact that I'm not getting there just yet is something else altogether. But yeah, you got the resource areas. The game seems to want us to capture there. Look how big the world map is. Capture in progress, so our enemy's doing better than me, that's for sure. And then there's all these other things as well. Oh my god. Capture here as well. Oh, so you capture the adjoining grid square, basically. Ah, very exciting. Anyway, so like I said, at the very least I've showcased that sort of thing. Maybe I will just start doing stuff like, what's this, like the Sentinel. Did that just spawn one in? You have enough material for one of these. Did I just put one in then? Oh, there it is. Flagship Sentinel. So click on the Sentinel. So user by default, um, we'll pull all to speed up. Um, oh right, it spawned it up here, outside of the zone. There we go, so that should help. I don't know why it says 0%. Production and generation. Moving out. Receiving. Keep 20%. Oh, I don't think this is at quite 20%, right? If you think about it. Oh, Jesus. Well, let's turn that down to... I don't know, fill the fucking 10% and see if it'll start filling up my other thing. Dead blueprint. Oh. Well, that's troubling. Can I put it in play? Start repairs. Oh, it needs to repairs. Maybe the blueprint needs... To oh, you know what? It's because I spawned the blueprint outside of the resource area. Right. So it's building it now because it doesn't act... Because ah, when I was building my first custom thing, I was within the sort of... Within the sort of radius. Right? So now we've set it to repair. Look at that. Gotta love it. Right. So I guess. Does everyone have default start repairs? Yeah. And now it's got materials as well. So that's good. So we can put it, play it. Oh, look at this fucking thing. Oops. Here we go. Jeez, look at it. Put old mate in the seat. Huh? Off it goes. It's little. Ah, uh, it's got little trundle wheels, sort of thing. 
right? And then off you could go to bloody... Can only give a force move orders when AI is in patrol or fleet move. Okay. So you put that. All right. And then you sort of go up to moving out. capture, pull all, off you go. Now the other thing that I, I'll just check real quick actually on this, on this ship. Oops. Do I have to just like zoom in on him? Is that how it's going to have to go? Could you just like maybe let me go onto that ship please game? Oops. What have I done there? Okay. Um, maybe if I go build? Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to figure out how to get to... I mean, I could just drive over here, but that's never going to be welcome. So, he's got guns on there. That's sick. But... Oh, there you go. AI wireless receiver. See, so for the guns to work, that's a range finder on there. But there's also a camera on the ship. There's probably a sonar underneath somewhere as well. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, like, you need... The camera will give you, like, a visual to locate the, the target sort of in a 2D plane in a way, right? And, um, and then the range finder gives you depth gives you range as well. So you have all these components that you connect up to all the guns with uh, like wireless receivers and that sort of stuff. So the AI systems in this is actually very, very, very complicated. Um, is there anything going in inside this sort of ship? It's where the sort of, yeah. Yeah, well there's your props there at least. Cool, I like that design, that's so cool. Anyway, like I said, um, very cool. Very welcome on the channel. Let me know if I put this on your radar. Let me know if you want to see more of it. This is something we could definitely chip away at over time. I'd be very keen to. Bit of a shame my first sort of little go didn't work, but I think I was just probably missing one one small step in there somewhere with uh, with getting it all working. But yeah, okay, cool. Oh, look at this. Can I just, can I, uh, can I put this into build mode and then I want to inspect it. I know I know we're going over time a little bit, but... Oh, look, is that a sensor on the side, just there? Yeah. Oh, there's a these are all the AI controls. Purpose control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's AI inside the... Uh, inside here. It's mostly AI, not really a lot of engine stuff going on in there. So cool. All right, anyway, team, I've taken plenty of time on this. I've I spent ages uh, tutorializing on it. So yeah, this definitely gets my rubber stamp of approval. This could be something you can really sink yourself into. I did my best with my half an hour or whatever, you know, 40 minutes, whatever you want to call it. Um, but more than happy to go down the rabbit hole on this if people are so curious. Let me know. All right, team, might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.